All right, guys, here we go. Woo! Wish I would have got coffee this morning. Here we go. Here's a five, but it's on this. It's on the leg. So I don't know of many fives that are on the legs, except for a five, twelve, thirteen. Okay, and I don't know if that's what this is. So I guess we got to use the two and seven to see what this is. If that's two, seven, thirteen, woo! But well, I got no clue. All right. So let's go through it. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to label it a Y. That means 2 squared plus Y squared equals 7 squared. Notice how this is always the C. C is always the hypotenuse. Okay. This can be A, B, I don't care. Okay. Y, X, whatever. Okay. And so what and so what I'm using here is Pythagorean theorem. Okay? And then what what do I do from there? Well, just a lot of simplification, right? Uh, subtraction property of equality, stuff like that. So I'm gonna say, hey, this is four plus y squared equals forty-nine, right? Then I'm going to subtract 4, subtract 4, I get y squared equals 45, right? Well, what is 45? Well, we're going to square root it. That's how we get rid of that square, right? But we have to break down 45. So does 2 go into 45? No, but 3 does, right? Because 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 is divisible by 3. So we go 3... And that's uh, 15 and 3, and that's uh, 5 and 5, and that's 1, right? Is there a pair there? Do you see a pair? No. Yeah. yeah. Where? Come on, man, look. You gotta see. Where's this? Where, what's the pair? Pair of what? Fives. Oh. There you go. The threes. No, you saw a pair of fives. That's fair enough. That's fair enough, right? But we're looking, and that's where we have to know where we're looking, right? Because if we're looking on the side or are we looking at, you know, in here. So that was fair. You saw a pair of fives, right? But we're looking at the outside, okay? So that's important that we understand where we are looking. Okay, so there's a pair of threes, and we're going to pull a three out. And then whatever isn't in a circle gets left inside the square root. And that's how you break down the square root. Okay? So that means that this piece is three square roots of five. Okay? Now, this is a Pythagorean theorem. That means that 5 squared plus x squared equals 3 and square roots of 5. Now, squared, right? Now, this is where students have a hard time. Because they're like, well, 5 squared is easy. That's 25. x squared, I don't know. But what is 3 squared? What's 3 squared? 3 squared equals 9, right? Right? But what is the square root of 5 squared? And what you have to realize here is that the square gets rid of the square root. So it equals 5. It equals what's in there. And so what do you have is 9 times 5, right? Which is? Whoa! It's right back to where it was, right? The y squared was 45, right? Okay? So it just goes back. Okay? So now we're going to solve. Minus 25, minus 25. What do we get? x squared equals 0 and 2, right? But then what do we got to do? Square root. 
Square root. Wow, there's a lot of this square root stuff, isn't it? Tons. Then what? Well, x equals the square root of 20, right? But are we done? No. We gotta break down 20. What goes into 20? Does 2 go into 20? Yeah, how many times? How many times does 2 go into 10? Right, Kiana? Jonathan? 2 goes into 10? Yes. 5 times? And 5 goes into 5 once? Is there a pair? Yes. Of what? Two. There we go. See? Now he knows where he's seeing it. Now he knows where to look, right? And that's all that it matters. Once you know where you're looking, it's not that hard. Does that make sense? Okay? So it's two square roots of five. Okay? And that's what the square root of 20 is. That's what x equals. Okay? And then you can plug it in your calculator and go, well, what is the square root of, of 20? And it's 4.47. So 4.47. And think about that. Well, 16, 4 times 4 is 16, right? 5 times 5 is 25. So 6, 20 is about halfway between 16 and 25, right? 16 and 25, a little bit less than halfway. But bam, a little bit less than half. 4.47. Okay? And this is what x is approximately. Okay? Fun stuff. No. No. <laughs> right? This 